you like games that let you go ham on absolutely everything for absolutely no reason? If you said yes, I've got something for you. This is a game called Maniac, and it's got all the goodness of classic Rampage games like Postal or GTA, and it only costs about 5 bucks. The gameplay consists of loading into a city and starting off your Rampage, picking up some weapons and other gear along the way, jacking cars, trucks, tanks, increasing your wanted level as you cause more destruction until you either get busted, or if you survive the whole 20 minutes, you win, and your reward is getting a nuke dropped on your head. So it's pretty simple, as it should be, but the game does also have a few elements to give it some depth. It uses some roguelike features to make your runs feel a little different from each other. For example, you'll always be able to find the upgrade guy around the city, and he'll give you little perks to upgrade your shooting accuracy, or your movement speed, or giving you a custom mod for your car, things like that. Between runs, you can upgrade your six different characters, who have some different stats and properties, as well as access to different loadouts. The little girl, for example, is pretty quick, making her a little more suited to fighting on foot than the old drunk mall Santa who's better off behind a wheel with his crash resistance. You shouldn't expect super deep builds or anything, but there is enough going on to differentiate each character and each run, allowing you to try out some different playstyles. There's also a good number of vehicles that feel good to drive and also feel different based on their weight and speed. You know, you aren't going to go plowing through things in a sedan, but if you get your hands on a fire truck, it's a different story. And later on, when the military vehicles start to show up, you can have some real fun. In terms of content, there isn't a ton. I've played about 5 hours at the time I'm making this video, and I've unlocked all the characters, but I haven't gotten a win with them all yet. It's not really a difficult game, especially once you figure out a few things, so you can get through it pretty quickly. I recommend turning off unlimited ammo in the settings, it kind of forces you to play a little more strategically, and it makes the game just a little more challenging. I think if you're the kind of person that wants to upgrade all the characters, try all their gear, try all the different vehicles, and just kind to get the most out of the game, you could do about 10 to 15 hours on it before you've done everything, which I think is pretty good for 5 bucks. And that being said, you can always just hop on for a game or two even after you've done everything, because it's just fun to play, and there's also a map editor, so you could potentially get a lot out of that too if that's your kind of thing. Overall, this is just a fun game to screw around in. It works well, and it's a nice chill game to kick back with too, so if you're looking for something to play and you got 5 bucks lying around, go give it a shot. On the other hand, if you don't want to play this game right now, you could click here and learn about another game that you should play. And that's that, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.